What's going on guys, Ness here. And what you see in front of you is the GPD Win, the world's first handheld gaming laptop. A project brought to life through crowdfunding by Chinese company Gamepad Digital, a company more known for their Android-based game consoles. The GPD Win sports 4GB of RAM, has 64GB of internal storage, and is powered by an Intel Atom Cherry Trail processor. The console runs a 64-bit full version of Windows 10 and comes complete with a fully functioning QWERTY keyboard built right into the console, along with fully integrated controls. On the unit's backside, we have a USB Type-C port for charging, micro HDMI video output, a micro SD card slot, and a full-sized USB 3.0 port, along with a headphone jack. The GPD Win retails for a little bit over $300. I purchased mine for about $330 US dollars through Dino Direct. The size of the unit is comparable to the Nintendo 3DS. But I know what you guys are thinking. How could anything running an Intel Atom processor be considered a gaming laptop? Well, I'm thinking that too. So let's crack this thing open and dive right in. The first thing I did was install Steam log into my account, and started downloading a couple of games off of my Steam library. To my surprise, almost every previous gen game I installed seemed to run pretty good. but there were a couple that ran pretty slow and kind of choppy. For those that did run pretty poorly, changing the graphical settings to low made them at least playable. The thing can pretty much run any emulator under the sun, from 8-bit consoles all the way up to 64-bit. So I decided to forego those, and see how it would handle some of the more demanding emulators. Nintendo GameCube seemed to run pretty well, at least playable. PlayStation 2 was a whole nother story. While some games seemed to run flawlessly, other games seemed to hardly run at all. As far as its functionality as a Windows device, its execution is pretty flawless. I was actually able to edit most of this video using the GPD Win. Now for the bad. For starters, the placement of the system's single speaker is absolutely terrible. I found myself covering it a lot with my hand while playing, making the audio sound extremely muffled. 
Secondly, the lack of clickable thumbsticks is really quite annoying. The placement of the L3 and R3 buttons are really awkward on the lower right of the console, making it really difficult to use these buttons when necessary. And lastly, the console seems to get pretty warm when gaming for extended periods. And by extended, I mean anything past 20 minutes, the thing starts to get pretty hot. All in all, the GPD Win is an ambitious, unique little device. In contrast to actual gaming PCs, I feel like the GPD Win is more suited for short burst sessions of gaming, within the range of 20 to 30 minutes. Anything past that, your hand will start to cram or the console will just start getting ridiculously warm. The unit does have a built in cooling fan so you don't have to worry about overheating, however it's uncomfortable holding something that warm making your hands all sweaty. I often found myself plugging in a wired USB controller to continue gaming sessions that lasted longer than the 30 minute mark. With that being said, I really feel like the GPD Win isn't for everyone. But me personally, I absolutely love the device and I love the concept here and I hope to see more Windows based handheld systems in the future. The GPD Win is a good start to what I hope becomes a legit new platform for PC gaming. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.